All right, guys, so this first stretch is the lat uh, stretch or side stretch. I like using a suspension trainer, a ring, or TRX will do. One thing, though, I like making sure that the uh, strap is uh, not as long as normal. So you can see this is how I would do, like, for example, uh, inverted rows, and this is what I would use for uh, the side stretch. But anyways, I get here, I grab the uh, ring, I cross over first, and then what I do is I open up, all right, and I get my feet nice and wide, and then I try to make that leg as straight as can be, because what I'm realizing is that everything is connected up the chain, from my feet all the way up through my calf, all the way up through my uh, quad, all the way up through my hip, all the way up into my lap. So I sort of come here and I open up and I try to be nice and square. And I adjust along the way, right? Notice that I'm grabbing at my fingertips, so I just let gravity play a role, right? I'm not trying to be all like, like holding on to this super hard. I'm just letting gravity play a role. I'm just sort of relaxing and feeling a great stretch all through my side. So I'm sort of letting gravity play a role, and then I'm sort of reaching, right? If you can think about it, I'm sort of reaching my arm that way as everything is dropping, so I'm creating an even more of a stretch on the side. All right, so that's the side bend. Now, one thing, if you don't have, say for example, a uh, strap or anything like that, a uh, suspension trainer or anything like that, me personally, since I am a taller individual, I have used this pull-up bar before, Okay, it's pretty good. All right, what you can also do is adjust the barbell and use the barbell, so put it at a height that's good for you. Uh, the bar is okay if you're doing it on the fly, but again, I prefer the suspension trainer because it allows more uh, degrees of freedom, okay, and you can adjust easier.